Good afternoon, YouTube. So here we are with my 84 Cutlass Hurstolds again. And as you can imagine, if you know these cars, what I'm doing, I'm messing with the power antennas. And somebody broke that off and Grandpa had a had one sitting in the shed. And it, it works, I've already soldered the plug from this one on there because this one was different. But it turns out that's not the only thing different. The way it mounts is different. The, uh, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff different. The, you can see that's a male thread. That's a female thread. Come over here. That's a male thread from the old one on the car. And that's what was on the new one. That, that's not the only other thing. There is a massive height difference between the two. So, that really sucks ass. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I'm dealing with. I don't have any other... Any other good ideas? I mean, I, I took two screws out, one there and one there, hoping maybe the tube extended. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Um, yeah. We're kind of up a creek. Oh, but I, I really... This is more of my uh, I hate engineers uh, spiel. Because here we are again with some stupid ass engineering. There's one bolt here holding this on. Like I, want, I, I read a forum to where this bolt was supposed to be holding the uh, antenna. Well, that's not the case. There's nothing there. Nothing on the antenna to even bolt to. Uh, so it mounts with this bolt, which is in backwards. If you uh, were to ask me, and you could see how it it's like recessed, like entirely. So then you come in here and you look down. You're never going to see it. I mean, I can't, I don't even see the head of the bolt because it's recessed so far. And someone's like, well, you don't have to pull the inner fender. You can use like a three foot extension, and go from the heater box all the way down by the manifold under from underneath the car and get at it. No, you can't. At least I can't because the firewall right here goes right down over the freaking middle of the bolts. You can't get a socket on it. You can't get a wrench on it because it's recessed so far. So the only other logical explanation is pulling this entire inner fender off of the car in order to take that damn bolt out. How stupid do you have to be? I'm serious right now. Because all you had to do was like flip the clip around or something and have a hole here where the clip slipped in and have the bolt go in here. Someone could pull the fender off. That's not that big a deal. Take some time, yeah, but it's not that big a deal. And it's like these two. These two screws, they should be reversed because you, I don't know if you can see my so silver socket down there. That one is actually pretty close to this. Um, likelihood of me getting at it though, I kind of doubt it uh, because I don't know where I'm aiming when I'm underneath the car, nor can you get your hand on it down there or anything. I mean, that fucker's buried way down there. Just how stupid do we have to be? You know, if these bolts were reversed, I'm sure someone with the fender on would go in here and go, well, how the hell am I supposed to get at those? Well, take the fender off, and it'd be a hell of a lot easier to just go, done. But no, 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 I'm just a simple mechanic, you know? What do I know? What do I know? I only have to work on it. What do I know? God, I hate stupidity so incredibly much. And engineers are so incredibly stupid. It takes all of five seconds to go, Hmm, that's not gonna work, is it? Back to the drawing board. You know, you don't even have to do that. You just go flip the clip for Brad, run the boat through. You know, just the simplest things in life. Oh, it's just the stupidest things. But anyway, I've gotten the car detailed ish. Uh, I gotta wash it again, but there's. Well, you can't see it. There's not much reflection there, but it is shinier um there's more reflection than there was so 
that's always nice. I was hoping the camera would make it look nicer. You know, the camera always makes a car look cleaner and nicer than it actually is. And there's a lot of dust on it from buffing and stuff. But, uh, I don't know. The roof, it's not the greatest. The hood is definitely, the paint is completely shot. There's, the only shine is the oil from the, uh, the polish. And there was some kind of, like, square, uh, weird pattern in the hood that's not well it's not there from factory something was sitting on it and for some reason and i got the that's pretty cleaned up that's okay looking i guess the paint peeling you know but uh i don't know i'm i'm really i mean the trunk came out really good that that looks like new um but trunk is yeah and this side of the car, I think, looks better than the other side, but other than the dings, dents, and scratches, and whatever else, but in reality, pretty much everything that's facing up needs to be repainted for some reason. Only the tops of stuff is getting cracked up and just looks like shit. So, I can't see what you're seeing, but you, yeah, you can see how cracked up that is. And I was wondering if maybe I couldn't take like a 15 or a 1200 grit sandpaper and try and get it down smooth. I don't know how much paint is there, and I don't know uh, if this, these cracks go all the way down. I don't know. It's just it's a thought. I mean, in reality, it needs to be repainted anyway, so what am I going to lose? Not a lot, because it looks like shit. I don't know if you can see see the pattern it goes up and to the left that's what i'm talking about it, it's like a big square pattern in the hood and it looks like yet so <sighs> parts from new jersey still aren't here so i don't have the radiator thermostat i don't have any of that stuff i could be doing instead i'd much rather be doing actually because i just i don't have an antenna that's going to work to be honest i don't know that a, a any antenna I try and Google is all universal. That doesn't help. I mean, you get a custom bracket, this, that, the other, and it's, uh, I don't want to do that. Why do I want custom? I want factory, baby. But I understand it's old, but if you're going to make something, make it right. Why not make it with the bracket that mounts to this, and, or mounts to the fender. I could care less how it mounts, as long as it's just out of the box, throw it on. Not out of the box fiddle with a bunch of shit and then maybe cobble it together and make it work you know god that's annoying why even make the effort really but uh you know, and here's the fender fender came out pretty okay so like i said i think this car just this side of the car looks the best but uh any of the side panels cleaned up really well they aren't cracking hardly at all so they really came out nice but uh but hey, now we got a radio that works, um, and the power antenna that I'm trying to make work, works. So that's always nice, right? Sort of. And I don't want a fixed antenna before you even think of it. I don't want a fixed antenna. This thing had a power antenna, I want a power antenna. So, it's just how I, how I roll. But yeah, we can't find the passenger the seat mount thing, so found one online they want 250 bucks 300 bucks for freaking manual seat base how dumb so i'm gonna go to french lake and see if maybe they uh or call them and see if they have a cut list of this era and i can get a seat base for it hopefully or a whole seat and take the base off just so i can get mount the passenger side seat and then i found on eBay that they actually make a plastic replacement gear piece. I could show you that. I unbolted the seat. I don't know if I'd shown you that before or not. I'd call it more of a sprocket than a gear. But, uh, my custom seat mount, you know. Okay, so that piece right there. So I'll hit the button. So that broke. Um, but I see that they make a new little piece there so i'll order that it's like 20 bucks for a piece of plastic but and then the other thing is as well that's a part i gotta try and uh wiggle the red piece 
and make sure it's not frozen so we don't just shear another one because that would be absolutely great to break a $20 piece of plastic. Got my new headlight switch, unfortunately. I still don't have headlights or dash lights. So I'm not sure what's going on there. And uh, a lot of people online have said, oh, your dimmer side of the switch. Well, then they're saying, oh, the dimmer switch on the steering column. Well, what, what's wrong with this? Why would this, you know, the thing on there, why would that be bad? I don't know. Maybe it is. Who knows? But you got to love it, man. So that would require disassembly of the steering column again. I should probably get it. I don't know. You know, they said to test things and hot wire things and try and test and whatever and uh, that's why I put it on ramps this morning here so I could get underneath there and they said fusible links on the starter or going to the starter for stuff and I'm like I have no idea what you're talking about yet you know but oh boy I barely fit under that freaking thing with the creeper oh my gosh I and glasses are scraping on shit. Oh, it's it's a tight squeeze under there. And, oh, I'm just having a real grand old time. Think you know? Think I'm gonna fix stuff today? And no, no. Fired the car up, and it didn't want to stay running for nothing. So now that I got the ECM fuse replaced, she really doesn't want to cooperate. You know, before the ECM fuse, we had it running pretty dang good pretty damn good and now with the ECM fuse back in oh it's just throwing a tantrum no check engine light but just hard to stay running doesn't want to stay running dies on me could be big bad gas could use fuel filter plugging up which kind of odd because it revs up just fine or anything above idle it's just perfectly fine it's responsive it gets up goes but frick come down to idle and it just bleh, bleh, bleh. not the hell. I don't know so that's uh, just one of them things till we get in there and we're gonna probably rebuild the carb because i took it up and down the driveway last night and after doing the transmission fluid and uh the little plunger guy here was leaking it's connected to the throttle linkage so uh she was giving a little bit of gas out of there so that's probably not very good but uh, just carb rebuild, I suppose. Still trying to hear back from this guy on this intake, because I really would like to get that on here. And uh, I asked him about the transmission, and uh, that's one of the things I'm waiting on hearing. But I uh, found out that uh, I can probably just get a transmission for this thing pretty easily, and then it's, you know, I don't know how the Hearst shifter stuff works, but, uh, you know, we can probably uh, get a four-speed tranny on this thing pretty easily, but, again, uh, without too much, you know, research and stuff like that, so. Um, two, uh, was it TM8, or THM 200 4R is what, um, transmission this had in it and now it's got a THM 375 or 400 so anyway and uh, so hopefully one of these days you can find a decent transmission for this thing uh, for a reasonable price and get that slapped in here and and uh, then I could sell this transmission I get I don't know maybe I'd you know wait till cooling system stuff's done and then i can drive it and make sure the transmission's good and then sell it because it uh, doesn't seem like it's got a whole lot of issues so uh, yet you know uh, but uh yeah anyway but, uh, i'm getting tired <clears throat> i already put in my effort for the day and i'm <laughs> just frustrated <laughs> to say the least take out a billion and one bolts to get the fender off Find out the antennas in there with some jackass weird idea, and find out the, the replacement antenna we've got's too short. And you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, well, maybe when I get this one off, I'll try ripping it apart and seeing if maybe the other one's just frozen, doesn't want to come apart. I don't know. I just I wish I could replace just the stock thing because I'm thinking this antenna probably still works okay, or the you know the motor, but. You know, if you could replace the stinking little thing in there, that'd just be, that'd be what I'd do. 
you know. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like they went together at one point. And there's got to be a way it comes apart. So we'll see. We'll see. Cause if I can just swap the antenna thing, then I will. So whoop, that'd be the ideal part. But I'll keep you guys surprised. So stay tuned for more updates. Thanks for watching. God bless.